Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today we'll be taking a look at this TP-Link power line. So the model is TL-PA6010 kit. And this is the gigabit power line adapter. Let's look at the box on the side here. Here's the specs. It supports all the known standards so far. Gigabit Ethernet port. Up to 600 megabits. Windows and Mac and Linux. 128-bit encryption. 300 meters of range. The power, there's LED indicators. Operating temperature is 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Humidity, dimensions. Here's some examples. Now, and some other advertisements here too. All right, so let's open this up. This unit cost me about, wow, it's like almost $70 on Amazon. I guess I could have gotten a cheaper one, but kind of need one quick and didn't have time to browse around so I just figured this is one of their more popular items so I just went ahead and purchased it. All right. Here we have two parts. Let's look at this one first, 600 megabits. LED status indicators on the bottom. TP link on the side. On the back here, it shows the MAC address, the password. So the input is 100 to 240 volts. So this is universal. And we have the Ethernet and pairing button on the bottom here. We have another unit. Same type of design, Ethernet pair on the back. Same thing, 100 to 240 volts. All right, so what else came in the box? We have two ethernet cords, a resource CD, and a quick install guide. To help me demonstrate the TP-Link, let me first show my current internet speed. So the computer I'm using right now, this is the Acer I recently unboxed, the E15. The wireless adapter is AO2.11N, and I'm connected through to the wireless. Let me click on begin test. So this is showing that my ping is 70 milliseconds, download 15 megabits, upload 19 megabits. This is using Verizon's own tool. I'm paying for 50, 50, 50, 50 megabits up, 50 megabits down. So I'm on a second floor, my router's on a first floor in the middle of the house, and my wire speed is pretty dismal upstairs. Now, for the TB link, I plugged it directly into the wall, not to a search strip or anything. And here's the network cable that came with it. The LED, LED on here is green. What I'm going to first do is disable my wireless, turn off the Wi Fi. Alright, now I'm plugging the Ethernet cable. Give it a couple of seconds, then I'm going to start the test again. Let's click on restart test now. With the power line, my speed has improved significantly. The latency is still roughly the same, but at least I'm getting 50 megabits up and 50 megabits down. So, as for my opinion of this unit, I think it's worth it. You may not need to get a gigabit uh, power, line, power line adapter, but I do believe that these, these kind of products do work. It's actually my first time using something like this. Okay, well, thanks for watching this unboxing review of this TP-Link 600 megabit power line adapter. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.